let's begin the day the way all the dancers do. We're here in the classroom. They're all limbering up, getting ready for a full day of rehearsals. We're going to be talking to some of the dancers later on. But first, I'll hang you over to our ballet mistress, ballet mistress uh, Olga Evrenov. Down and up, stretch, little forward bend, up, and you go back and lift again, and all the way down. Forward bend, second, again, two demi plies, grand plié, towards the bar, go through the front all the way, and relevé to finish. Fourth position, demi plié, and then just arms into the arabesque. Fifth position, two demi pliés, and seven, eight, grand plié, and you finish with round of the bras. You stretch it, Kate, yeah, at the end, and. And demi one. And stretch. And demi. Heads. And allons first. And down. And passing demi. And stretch now. Just upper body. Little. And up. And over. Yeah, but two shoulders back, Aaron. Down. Second. And they me one. And stretch. And And down. Out your back. Towards the bar, lifting up first. And down. And through the front. And stretch. And relevé second. All the way up high, relevé. That's a little too wide um, uh, uh, for me, John. See, this is too, too big, that second. You can't hold it that way. And two demi plies, fifth. And again, press down and stretch. Legs stretched. And down. And always, Jenna, before you go, there is a breath up and then. So it doesn't matter. And around. And legs together. Fifth, that's it. All right. Oh, you're hidden there, Leo. Left side, ready? And literally hidden. And one. <laughs> and stretch. And one. Yeah, but Romy, that's it. Right. And good. And sooner heels uh, down, um, uh, make. And up, and two shoulders, and up, and up. Second, one, and stretch, and down, and one, stretch, and one, and down, and passing the knee, good, up, side, lift, Yeah, but keep the legs turned out, Thunder. Don't twist them about. And up. Demi. And arms arabesque, reach. Fifth, two demi plies and stretch. And demi. And over. Full. Good. So first position, and we go to the front, point, turn, in, turn out, and flex with plié, stretch, close to first, two times, now second. It goes second, and in, and out, and first, and continue in first position, demi plié to finish. So back, turning in, turning out, flex, and two tendus, second, quarter rond, quarter rond, and the rest is in first, yeah? And Even legs, Aaron, yeah. Front, turn in and out. Look, there is money there. And one, and first, and stretch. First, second, oh one. Carry front, carry second, 
and continue in front. Hop, back, and plie, good. Back, and toes leading, and in, out, and flex, all the way, hop, first. And elbow on here, hop, back, and back, first. And we're ready to the other side, plie, and one, and one leg, and two legs out, and uh, stretch. Back and up. Two shoulders even to get careful. Yeah, don't drop this side, keep that. Mm -hmm. And back. Ancora più con la punta dietro. Back. And stretch. Second. Second. First and heel front, back and up, off. All right, from fifth position like this, could the pied extend front and in and fifth and just en croix tendu, three and four to the side. So, Kristen, okay. hello. Back. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So, this is how you guys start every day? Yeah, we're a little bit mad, aren't we? Yeah, it's bonkers. So, so and, and how long will this go on for? This goes on for an hour and a quarter. Okay. And it's kind of a really important part of the day because you've got to make sure that, that you know, your bodies are warm. Yeah. And so at 12 o'clock when we start rehearsals, you need to be ready for anything. Okay. And so what, and, and the stuff you're doing now, is this, is this like for you guys, is this fairly standard stuff? Or? This is normal stuff. I mean, the exercises that you'll see are different every day, but the actual moves, like you'll see yeah. these tondus at the minute they'll just be put together in a different way each day. Right, okay. And, and Olga's, Olga kind of helps you through it or she, she's giving you pointers all the time? Yeah, or? she does because it's the time when you practice your technique and anything you feel weak on, you know, class is the time to improve upon that. So Olga will guide you through it, give you corrections. And she often watches the performances in the evening so she'll see what, you know, our she weak said, points you were terrible, are. Yeah. You were terrible <laughs> Yeah, get that sorted. Right, okay, and, so, and, and you, do this, you, you do this five days a week or six days a week? Six days a week. Six days a week. Sundays are our days off. Wow, yeah. right. Okay, and yeah. then after this, you'll go into how, how much rehearsals? So rehearsals go from 12 until 5.30. Yeah. And then, and then, and then you get an hour off or something? And, and then, then we get start. an hour off, well, two hours off and then the show. But tonight there's no show, so we can carry on until 6.30. Oh, you Those are the rules. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, that, I mean, that's pretty intense. Yeah, how, it's, I mean, it's hard. I suppose uh, there must be, you know, they must have thought it through, but you, you might think from the outside, is that, is that not going to tire you out too much or...? I suppose you just get used to it, you know, you, you're drilled from an early age and, that, you know, that's what you come to know and your bodies come to know that. And, right. you know, I think if we didn't do that, then we wouldn't get the performances to the right, standard. Okay. Your body would just shut yeah. down yeah. And, let, and let you down <laughs> all the yeah, time. It would. Um, and and uh, and so what's what's you know what are you interested with today? What you're going to be looking out for? I know there was there's, there's one bit where we've had a competition all over the world. And oh a yeah, we asked people to send in uh, a move called a grand jeté, which okay. you'll see later on in class. What is a grand jeté? It's like a big jump where yeah. we split our legs. Right. Okay. Uh, what, so one of those ones where they kind of run, like, demonstrate yeah, of for course, it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Um, it, like, like, kind of like fame, where they kind of run and then, exactly. and then yeah, yeah. The, okay. And so people from all around the world are sent in entries in crazy locations. So we'll have a look at those later on. And on a selfish note, you know, we've got the insight evening later on with Wayne McGregor's yeah. new piece, and um, Gareth Pugh has designed. His I know you. I know you're particularly excited so about I asked this. Could I borrow an outfit from it, one of his collections? You know, just to wear as I'm interviewing yeah, people. Yeah, just casually, <laughs> yeah. just kind of swanning around in a nice in a bit of Gareth Pugh. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that's yeah. what you're looking forward to today. <laughs> She's looking forward to her Gareth Pugh dress. Uh, we're all looking forward to the ballet. We'll see you in a little while, Kristen. Off you go. You go Thank back you. and get involved. Cheers, darling. Five, six, seven, and eight. Close back and back and back, back plié and stretch, reverse, back, second, back, second, all is eight times, and then seven, closing in front, actually not seven, just plie five, six, and you step. Front side, front side, front side, front side, closing behind to the side, and finishing demi plie, and you reverse. Ready, and. Yeah, ba, 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 foot, active direction now, cross back, 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 plie, Reverse, back, second, hop. By fifth position, Laura. Fifth, 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 fifth. Plie, other side. Back, back. Fully stretching, toes, olive. Back, back, that's it, right. 
and more demi plie, really opening out Leticia. Mm -hmm. All right. So before we do jetés, just plie one, two, three, four, reach, stay, stay, and fifth. Plie, 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 extend, hold, hold, and close. Same to the back and side. Four plies on the leg, and then just you hold. Ready? And. And hop. Now, long leg. Fifth, second, open, out, hop. Shoulder on the bar, Tamara, careful. Yeah. Ba, second. Other side. And a one. Ba, ba, ba. From inside of the leg. Ba, 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 ba. Two sides opening. And that's it. Jetez go like this. Développé front and two. Jeté three and four, five and six and hold. Again, one développé and then jeté, jeté, jeté and stay. Last count. One and two. And then jeté and hold the last count. Yeah? Ready, please? And. And a one. Pa. Fifth, 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 fifth and stay. One and close. Ha, pa, pa, pa. Close on Tunella. One, fifth, and go. Right behind you, Lara. Ta, ta, hop, ta. Left side, hop, and ta, ta, hop, ta, hop, ta, ta. Ta, and hop, ta. Shen, shen, exactly, second, ta, hop, ta, ta. Laura, are you breathing? Just right, okay? So, Two piquet front, two to the side, two to the back and brush through first. Continue the little brush and six and seven and eight. Two to the back, two in second, two in front, brush seven and eight and eight more battement cloche and that's it, yeah? Ready? And. Click, click, ba, 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 and through. Really massage the floor all the way with foot. Ba, ba. Stretching knee to the back, Eric, careful. Yeah. Give it a long. Yeah, Valera, don't be late. Tuck, ba, ba, ba. Good. And the ends of the toes, yeah. Don't let them notice. Okay, so prepare, and it is just four hold the jambes on the floor. Two and three and four. You go plie, stretch, and so, reach. Um, uh, I'm joined now by Jonathan Cope, who was a principal dancer here at the, uh, the Royal Ballet and is now one of the coaches and teachers, correct? That's correct, yes. Right, okay. Uh, and so, I mean, this, is, uh, this has been part of your life now for, I don't know, the last 20, 25 years. You started your days like this pretty much every day? Uh, pretty much. I started dancing when I was six years old. Wow. Uh, on a Saturday morning in the local town hall, and, um, and so sort of channeled right through. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and yeah. you, you I, I'm sure you're bored of being asked this, but you were you were da Darcy uh, Bustle's dancing partner for a while, right? I was, yes. Danced wow. many of uh, the classic roles with Darcy Bustle, yeah. Well, that must have been fantastic. Favorite. Yes, no, it really was, yeah. Right, okay. Uh, and, uh, and just talk me through, just talk me through, obviously I was talking to Kristen yeah. about it, but talk yeah. me through um, what's going on here. Obviously the piano player's playing live. Why is that so important? Um, it's so important because the music really is the inspiration for every dancer. Yeah. And a lot of companies don't have the luxury of having a, a live pianist in the studio. They work off a, a CD player that's, you know, for each individual exercise, someone pushes a button and then the music plays. So to have a live pianist here is absolutely wonderful. And it does provide, you know, as I said, the sort of inspiration for all the dancers to get up and do this every morning. Absolutely, right. So it's, 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 as much as anything, it's just kind of bringing the vibe, really. It's bringing the vibe. It's all about expressing the music, dancing, really. Yeah. You know, and um, having the live music on the wonderful grand piano there. You, know, you can feel it yourself. You no, know, it's like lovely. It's really, really nice. Yeah. I feel euphoric. I almost, yeah. I almost feel like joining in. Well, there you go. Um, I, saw, <laughs> I saw a couple of the girls, just as we were coming in, they were, they were sitting there banging, they were banging something on the floor. And oh, right. It was right. their shoes yes. they were banging. What's, That's right. What's that all about? Well, I, um, as you probably are aware, 
Um, they're not in them at the moment because this is just the class, but they wear a point shoe, okay. which allows them to go right onto their toes. And the end of that point shoe is made of like a block. It's almost like a block of wood. Right. And it's very hard. And when they run, it's very noisy. So in order to soften the bit of wood and the whatever it is, they bash them to take the sort of sound out. So to take the creaking out of the front Exactly of the front. that. Otherwise, the elegance, yeah. if you, if <laughs> all of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And bang, 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 yeah, when they run along. So work, right, it's not okay. going to work. So, um, yeah. Now, <laughs> some of these guys later on, I, I think, are going to be rehearsing for Romeo and Juliet. Yes, I believe you, so. You've danced Romeo? I have. How yes. demanding a, a part is that? Uh, it's a fantastic part because it's uh, both physically demanding but also emotionally, obviously, being that it's Romeo. Uh, but it's, it's one of our greatest productions by Kenneth Macmillan. And, um, you know, an incredible challenge, really, both as an artist and also technically, yeah. Okay. And, and how, long, how long would you have to be kind of in the company before you got the chance to be Romeo? Depends on your talent. Right, okay. How long did it take you? <laughs> I don't remember, sort of mid 20s, probably. Right, okay. But, I mean, you, That's if, quite early if, to me, Jonathan. if you're talented yeah. enough, it could come even earlier, really? I'm sure, yeah. Wow, well, right, okay. If you're gifted. Well, what's, what's the prime like, kind of age for a, for a ballet dancer? The prime age? Yeah, like footballers um, really kind of come into their own about 27, 28. Like um, I would say it's similar. I mean, the thing is, uh, you know, the mind gets wiser and more experienced as an artist, but the body is continually getting weaker. So there comes a point where the mind is actually, as an artist, kind of there, and the body is still strong. And I think that's your peak. And yeah. I would say it's kind of 30, early 30s, possibly, when the wisdom is there and the body is still strong. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then, and then, at what point? At what point do you say, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm going to move over to well, being a teacher or I'm going to be a coach. <laughs> when you look at the younger lad next to you, he's sort of jumping six feet higher than there you was are. A, there, was a guy, <laughs> there was a guy over there who was doing a kind of pendulum with his leg when he was warming up. And oh, his right. leg was just completely there and well, then just back the other way. And it was Well, when you see that sort of thing yeah, and you're in your it. early 40s, you yeah, think, yeah. right, well, I think games it's about... Games up here. Games up here. Right, yeah. okay. You might and have the experience, but the body says no. And, and what's the <laughs> difference between being a, a, a teacher? Because you said, you know, I'm kind of both teacher and coach. What's the differentiation um, well, between I don't I don't sort of teach the steps. I can teach the steps, but a coach, I guess, is is more, you know, providing inspiration to the dancers, encouraging them to be an artist in their own right, having their own identity, you know, and feeding ideas to them about how to portray a certain role, that sort of thing. Right, okay. um, so that's... So you, know, you, you get far more involved, I suppose, in the kind of emotional side of it? All well, we the, do, the, because performing it is, certainly with the, the, the ballets, like you've just mentioned, Romeo and Juliet, those sort of ballets that do have a large sort of emotional input. You know, it's great to have someone to bounce ideas off as an artist, yeah. Absolutely. All right, Jonathan, well, listen, really lovely yeah, talking to nice you. Thank to you very you. much. Yeah. And um, okay. well, I've been seeing you throughout the day, I'm sure. All right, OK. Well, Marvellous. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Back of the knee, Sabina. Uh, so tango, yeah? From uh, fifth, one for you, you can go flat or relevé, and second, definitely relevé. And plié, passé, retiré, and stay, stay, stay. Then in second, and two, plié, second position, return up, rond de jambe, one, two, three, and double, and you reverse. For you, twice to the back, plié, passé, retiré, and you hold three and four. Fondu à la seconde, plié second, relevé up, three rondes de jambes, one double, and it goes left side. Ready? And. Now, opening the back on plié, and two, and again. Lengthen leg, and up, stay, stay. Second, demi plié, second position, and up. And one, two, three, and double. And one. Yeah, there. Count. Second. Two legs and one. And in, in, in. Left side. Yeah. Really round, particularly on the dance, think about it. Back and lengthen and go. You can go higher to pass away. And one, second, and two legs. And yeah. 
Do not drop the legs down into fifth position, guys. Careful. Lengthen and up and step. Resist. Second. Yeah, don't kick Lizzie there. And extension. Back and round. A little more, Christian. A little bit more round beyond the other one. Mm. That's fine. It's the other way when it goes. Yeah? So, simple. We go with a brush front and front and side, side, side. Back and back and again three to the side. Double one, double two, four in second. Petit battement is on relevé. Stay on relevé. Back and second, second, second. Front, front, second, second, second. Four doubles in second position. Blah, 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 blah. Change legs, passer, retire, and it's a long balance at the end. Yeah? Ready? And two front, three side. Pa, and stay, stay. Pa, pa, pa. Stretching all three, Tara. Stretch, stretch, that's it. Double one, double two. Three, four. Up. Staying up and grab back. Back. Second, second, second. All three stretching. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Double. Tap. Yes, good, Haley. Stretch, stretch. Petit, ba, ba. Change the face there. One, two. So here we are, live backstage at the Royal Opera House, watching the first ballet class of the day take place. And with Jonathan Cope, I couldn't let him go without, uh, without just talking me through what's going on. Yep. Jonathan, what is going on? Uh, well, we're on an exercise. You're watching an exercise called Batman Frappe. Uh, all the steps are in French, obviously. Why are they in French? Because ballet originated in France. France, that's it. OK. Um, so, <laughs> Simple uh, as that. It's, uh, but this is one to, to really get the sharpness in the leg, as you can see, that the, the feet and the, the leg have to work incredibly sharply uh, and have a, a, a tight dynamic. Okay. So that's what they're doing now. And then this particular one here is just to balance, to get yourself very calm, very still, so that you can just stay on one leg and balance, which is extremely difficult for the average person to do. Particularly if you... On their toes as well. On the toes, right on the top of the toe, on one leg. It takes a certain type of calm. So what's Olga showing everybody here? Well, now, each time the exercise finishes, then Olga uh, then sets the next step. Um, so and let me see what this is. This looks like an adage now. So this is about sort of... Um, extending the leg um, so this provides a different type of muscle control that uh, that they need and again now the music changes we move into a into an adage slightly slower it's much calmer much calmer and the legs will go incredibly high <laughs> as you possibly can see so this is a slower dynamic now so it's a, again a different type of muscle It looks abnormal from this angle. It does. It does look. I mean, it's just the most incredible yeah. thing when you're yeah. watching it up close. No, no. Yes. Well, modern dancers have, you know, techniques that are are extraordinary in comparison with the older generation. I, I was going to say, is it far more gymnastic? Yeah. And um, the body has an ability now that exceeded ours. Incredibly loose. And what happens? What happens if, if you know, uh, you're, you're running late, and I say, right, Jonathan, you got to get straight in here, and you, you don't have this full hour and a half's kind of warm up. How how would your body well, I, react? I guess risk of injury. Yeah. Because the body isn't warm if you go straight into it, and things like pulled calves, if you start jumping without exercising your calf muscles, that sort of thing. Um, but no, you, uh, it's an essential part of the day, I think, for every dancer. Um, because it, it, classical technique requires such precision that you need to get this precision um, and keep the precision coming every single day in order to maintain it. You lose it very quickly. Right. And, and a lot of so dancers... What, so it, it, 
it's almost muscle memory or, or kind it of is. instinctive muscle. It is. I mean, it, it, down to the individual a little bit, there are some dancers that find they don't necessarily need this full class every day because yeah. their bodies function quite well without it and others need a little more. Um, but in general, um, you know, it does, it is an essential part of the process. And some of them even come in on Sundays to maintain the body. Are, are, are the dancers with with their own personal ana anatomy? Do they do they know exactly which muscle groups they're using all the time? Or? Uh, they do. I mean, they you know they're very familiar. They'll know each leg is slightly different. One might, one leg might be looser than the other or yeah. stronger than the other. You know, an arm could be longer or shorter. Whatever. They know their proportions. They know their muscles, and they know what they have to do to sort of compensate for any uh, shortcomings. Yeah. <clears throat> but you know, look at the mirrors over there. You know, you full on looking at yourself. So it's yeah, you get it. You're, you're yes, it's quite self-indulgent, isn't it? Of course it, really? it is. Of <laughs> course it is. But it, it's kind of necessary, really. But it's kind of a, a necessary uh, part of the process. Yeah, absolutely. So then this and is another exercise again, called grand battement, which is more like throwing the leg. And Jonathan, did you, did you have you know did you have one leg longer than the other or one arm stronger I, than the well, other? Well, as you've probably noticed, the dancers stand with their feet facing outwards. They yeah. don't face forward like the majority of people. Um, so one of my legs was sort of slightly further in than the other, so I wasn't completely balanced. Right. So I did have to compensate for that. Jonathan, is there, is there an ideal kind of physical shape or, or specimen for ballet? An ideal, yes. For a classical dancer, I think there is. Obviously, relatively thin. Yeah. Uh, limbs that are loose and can be sort of extended. And then with that, you need a degree of strength. Because what happens sometimes, if the body is exceptionally loose, it's not necessarily very strong. Um, so you need a bit of both. It's got to be strong but loose. Um, and then also perfect proportions, you know, you can't have, you know, a neck that's too long or a head that's too big or, or you know, <laughs> hands that are too small or too big. It's all about the, the, the physical look that the, the right. body is, is, you know, pretty much perfect. Certainly for classical ballet, for other forms of dance, it's, it's not so essential. Right, yeah. we'll, let him, uh, we'll let him have a little breather. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Pleasure. Coe. We'll come Pleasure. back to you shortly. Okay. stuff is this? It's not yours, is it? No. Thank you. All right. So on we go when we're ready. Okay, in three, yeah, adagio. So it goes like this. Tolier forward and you go under one. And right away, step tolier back. You bring arm up and it's a full hold of champ all the way to the back to quasi arabesque. You promenade back on you. And six, to first arabesque, so you change the arms. Plié, brush, relevé, tombé, to arabesque. Pas de bourré, prepare and step. And then through plié, full, port de bras, just opening arm out, and you're ready at the side. Step one, quasi, step two, open, lift three, Full hold de chambre to the back. Promenade. Six, seven, you hold the eight. You finish first arabesque, brush through. Into arabesque, pas de bourré, and temps lié to prepare. And then just through plié, 
round, round, and you open the arm, okay? Was clear? Ready? And. And quasi one. And open back, and around, and back, good, and left shoulder bend, careful, and hold first arabesque, bear bear arabesque, and go, up, and forward, pas de bouger, and stretch, plié down, and sweep through, and Jonathan, they've got rid of the rails now. They've moved uh -huh. them to the side. What's yep. going on? Well, they've let go of the bars, as you said. They, they just provide support. Yeah. Um, so you can really concentrate on the, the legs and the accuracy of your work. So now they've moved into the center where you now have to find your own balance because you're only on your own legs. So now we're opening up a bit and we're starting to move a little and start to sort of dance properly, so to speak. Okay. Um, and this is just the first exercise. It's like a little pour de bras, just to get the body moving slowly. And they work in two groups as the class is so big. It's, it's so big. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a, a couple of classes like this going on simultaneously? Um, yes, normally three or two classes, yeah, because the company's so large. Um, often broken down into a, a female and male class. So wow. the steps can then be tailored, um, you know, to the, to the sex. But you were mentioning what they're wearing, which yeah. is, um, you know, they just put together whatever they want, really. You see some yeah. pretty interesting Interesting outfits. sort of <laughs> combinations of outfits, leotards and tights. Um, but often it's sort of tailored to cover up areas of yourself you don't like so you know really if, you, right, okay. if you've got a particular body part that you don't think is particularly and they've got they've got the most <laughs> incredible like the guys yeah. have almost got like an extra muscle above their glutes kind of thing like they, they have they yes. do have an extra they, muscle that's yeah, why it looks like they, they do they really do yeah it's all the lifting of the leg i think which which gets all that uh, that build up but they're all very lean. There's no body fat There's on anybody. There's no body fat on anybody. No, no. But it's an intensive day because this is just the start physically, and then it's going to go through and they, they, all I mean, day. And mm. what, what kind of stuff? I mean, they're, they're eating pasta and they're eating. I'm sure they're all having croissant <laughs> for breakfast, which isn't <laughs> what you'd expect from a bunch of athletes. But I suppose no. they're just working so hard. Well, I mean, some are more diet conscious than others. I, I guess it's what works for you, but. Um, you know, a lot of them do survive on Coca-Cola and Mars bars wow. um, in their youth. But as you get older, you realise that you start looking after yourself, a little, after yourself a little bit more and well, realise reali the importance. Did you notice yeah. a shift, obviously, with it, like, you know, I know sports science or whatever, you know, kind of over the last 10, 15 years, it's come on incredibly. People understand body conditioning that much more. You're absolutely right about that. It has changed the, the support and the understanding of the body. It's the same with the football, though, yeah. isn't it, really? And, you know, even the psychology of it all and the mindset. Um, so there's, there's, there's so much available to them in terms of training and keeping the body in top shape. Yeah. Do you um, have physios here? And, and we have physios and, and, yes, we do masseuse and pilates, which is quite a big thing for, uh, you know, maintaining the condition of the body. So... Uh, it's all available, but you cannot, I don't believe, beat this, what we're seeing now, the class for maintaining the body in a classical shape. It's, it's kind of the perfect form of yeah. exercise. Exercising every little tiny muscle. Right, thank you, Jonathan. We'll come back no? to you shortly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Money was there all the time. It's only five pence, but never mind. So we go like this, fondue to the side. Rond de chambre, plié second, close 
to fit. Fondu, effacé, fondu, écarté, fondu, croisé, front, and you come to fourth. Pirouette en dedans, in to the fifth. Temps lié, forward, fourth. Pirouette en dehors, you finish, and you're ready at the side. First in two, counts out. Rond de jambe, and the stay. In one count, same leg. Change the leg and come forth. Inwards, fifth, prepare outwards. Was I clear? One and two. Full height and come susu. Open line, stay to écarté, change the legs and forth. And then it's en dedans, pirouette, two counts, stretch forward and en dehors. Ready, please. And. Aïe, pa, pa, fondu, one, and two, plié, and a fifth, down and up, and a up, other side, go, inwards, one, pa, good, and five, and a outside, don't move the supporting heel before, right? And one, now hold supporting side, and plié. Cross legs, and up, and back, and other leg, four, and uh, go. Again, everyone, I'd like to introduce you to one of our principals, Mara Galeazzi. Hello, Mara, how are you? And you'll notice that Mara has a lovely baby bump. <laughs> how many weeks have you got to go, Mara? Uh, four and a half. Four and a half. And how are you feeling? Fabulous. And, and you wanted to do class up until this well, point? Yeah. Class, we're talking about bar <laughs> with, with no oh, bar with no legs up <laughs> and no arabesque. Um, it's fun, still fun, keeps me fit and yeah. I guess it keeps me going for the labour. Yeah, absolutely. So the things that you can't do anymore, obviously you can't jump and yeah, can't, can't jump, can back back bend. bend, can do arabesque. I can still just about to lift my legs on 90 degree at the front. Yeah. It must be really strange for you because being one of our yeah. principals, so performing at such a top level mm. and now having <laughs> this I in know. front of you and not being able to do everything you normally yeah. can. It's, it's pretty hard, but yeah. uh, you know, I think it's, it's just a wonderful thing to go through now. Yeah. And it's maybe when I come back, I will be even better. Yeah, well, we, we miss you all <laughs> <laughs> on that, and um, I hope everything goes well. Yes. Yeah, we won't be seeing you for very much longer, no. will we? No. <laughs> Do you want to just one last thing say hello to your lovely husband, Jürgen, who's watching? Hi, Jürgen. <laughs> I'll see you soon with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mara. Bye. <laughs> Hold the chambre, Eric, a little bit more round again. Bring heel forward, guys, everybody. And go. Second group, please. Olivia. Please, and. Olivia, on the left side, you're taking the arms down again. They're not too far back, and they should be above. There, there's a feeling of lift. What happens? It goes a little like that. Yes? I think that's that side. Yeah, it was that one. Better, yeah. And when you cannot. When you feel you cannot, you still have to end. That feeling. And over. Jonathan, we, we're, uh, we're kind of probably yeah. halfway through the class now, I don't know. We are, yeah, moving through. At 12 o'clock today, they're going to be rehearsing for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That's right, we've just opened with Alice and uh, 
in Wonderland, and the run now starts. Um, How many performances will they do of a show like that? Um, it varies from as little as five to... So you'll, so you'll, you'll rehearse well, a whole show and maybe only do... Only do five to oh. as many as, say, 25, 26, for something like a, a Nutcracker over Christmas right. or a Swan Lake. So and uh, and how, many, how many can you do a week? What's the maximum there? Well, they can do... I mean, we have done seven, eight shows a week. Really? Mm. So with with a matinee, a double yeah. show, yeah. I mean, that's quite rare, but, you know, sort of five shows a week. Um, and your body can take that, just about. Well, the principals obviously don't do that amount because they lead the ballet, and physically it's it's a little harder for them. But having said that, the corps de ballet do work very hard as well. So this company, you know, has um, has quite a tough time a time in, a, in 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 respect to the amount of repertoire they dance. But now we're into the turning section. These are the pirouettes, which I think the majority of people might know a little bit about, where yeah. you spin and spin and spin and spin. <coughs> and you don't get dizzy by choosing a point to look at and then continuing stick to with stick with it, that's right, until the end. And then some of them are, are more natural at turning than others. But they all turn one way better than the other. It's very rare that somebody's completely ambidextrous and turns both yeah. ways. It's either well, to the right. Left or a I was right a righty. Hand. You're a righty. But there's quite a few lefties as well. <coughs> Some of them are up on the points now as well. So. I was going to say, I've, seen, I've been watching a few yeah. of the, the, yeah. the girls on the side well, uh, who all stood there on, on their points. That's right, now the shoes are on, like what we were talking about earlier. And so they go right up onto point for the turns. Incredibly difficult, really. Requires great skill. So do, the, do, the, do the boys not go on to point? No, they have um, what's called a demi-point or a half-point. So they're just on the, the top of their toes, but not sort of fully extended. Right. You or need the special... Too heavy or, or That's right. Well, no, not... I, I don't know why, but um, I guess it... it would, it's deemed quite feminine to be on, on point. On, on your toes, but, right? but men have worn point shoes um, in certain ballets, normally when playing an animal. <laughs> 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 All right, Jonathan, listen, thank you very well, much no, thank for, you. Uh, for yeah. talking us well, through this. I hope and, uh, you have you've a good day. Go off and uh, and, and get start, your start work, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, well, well. All right, thank you. Thanks, John. Cheers. Okay. Kristen, or do you, or she's with me now. So uh, here we are backstage at the uh, the Royal Ballet. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. There's thousands of people watching around the world at the moment. We are trending on Twitter. If you want to get in touch with us uh, on Twitter, then hashtag RBLive. If you want to give specific questions to the dancers, then hashtag RBLQuestions. We're trending. Thank you. Second position. Attitude with traversée. Pas de bourrée, stay and stay. Déboulé, 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 and finish plié, turn here. So I repeat it. It's preparation, force position. Tour attitude, plié. Piqué, croisé. Glissade, second. Relevé, attitude. Pas de bourrée, you stay, and you finish with chenet, 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 and then turn. Was I clear? And uh, one, and uh, two. Turn three, plié, croisé, Six, seven, and eight. New phrase, into renversé, pas de bourré, 
state, Debole, yeah? Four bars before that one, please, and. Ba, 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 and uh, one, ba, 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 and hop, ba, ba, ba. Good, front, and stay. Second, and uh, back, and hold. Go, and back. No, that was actually, you were fine. You go, and then go to Yes, and the last, please use the legs to, in order to get it. Hop, ba, 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 and hop, ba, and one, four. And you're not falling backwards. Quasi, a la seconde. Mind the arm again, uh, Olive. And hop. And hop. Yeah. Be careful, arm. Space. Yeah. Yeah. It's particularly that a la seconde. You are lifting. It has to sort of stretch the spine. And uh, position. Second, attitude, and just hold, and go. It was all good except for one thing, and you know what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't look down. And uh, back. And stay, fifth in the legs, and go. Développé en dehors, by the way. And stay. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Yeah. Dos cosas. Un peu. Te pones demasiado là. Vai solo nella direction. Fit. Y hay una otra cosa. Eh, espera, espera, espera. Attitude pas de bourrée, attitude renversée. Quinta. Yes, and one. And the head quasi développé. And uh, yes, Kenta, good. And go. And second. Are we not left side? Same skies. Yeah, and uh, up. And up. Yeah, this time was good. First time you did, you went back of the leg. You want to keep the connection, leg, so it's passé, attitude développé. Always in connection. And yes, good. And back. And just stay. Good. Now, eyes up. That's it, right. And down uh, one. Are you just chilling this one out? I think so. You did. You liar. And it's left too. Come on, go. It's left side. Sorry. And uh, back. And up, back, 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 back. Use the head, 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 head. Claudia, present the leg en dehors, please. And go.
All right, that's enough. Demi plié in first. So, Kristen's joined me. Hello again. Hello again. Um, what's, uh, what's going on now, Kristen? So, we're just uh, coming towards the end of centre practice. Oh, we're just about to start jumps. So, this is what we call Pitti Allegro. And we're just warming ourselves up again for bigger jumps. So, you know, like I told you about that the Grand Jeté. Yeah, the, the Grand Jeté that people are sending Everybody's in. This is the lead up to the Grand really? Jeté. Are they going to Grand Jeté? <laughs> so, they'll Grand Jeté a little minute. bit later. No, no, there's a few more exercises that we need to do before we get to the Grand Jeté. Mm, okay. It's just like jumping up and down, simple bouncing up and down. You could do this one. Even I could do yeah. this one. Yeah. Talk me, uh, talk me through the kind of different levels of dancers who are here and the different levels of, of So in we the can see on screen now, you'll see Ed, who's just passed in the grey. He's yeah. one of our principals. He's at the face of our um, world stage at the minute. You'll okay. see him in a big jeté over um, almost like an Olympic pole. So he's principal, that's the top level. And then the Is next... Is that why he's up the front for, for uh, rehearsals? Not or? necessarily, mm. no. Uh, you can stand anywhere you want actually in class yeah so then the next one down is a first soloist i don't think we've got anyone on the screen that i can show but then we go soloist next that's what i am okay and then it's how long will you be a soloist before you get up to being a first well you don't necessarily you know get promoted to, to yeah. a first soloist uh, you know you you could stay a artist which is after a symbol before soloist it's first artist then artist so really, you could stay an artist the whole of your career. Right, OK. You know, you d it's not a progression that everybody makes. Uh, so you have lots of the girls in this class, because this isn't everybody in the company. Absolutely. Yeah. This is, uh, what, probably a third of the company? Or? Yeah, if that. There are kind of over 90 dancers in the company. So yeah, I'd say right. about a third are in, are in here. Uh, and what's it, I mean, is it a particularly, it, it doesn't feel particularly competitive. I mean, there's certainly an air of competition. I can, I get that, but it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like kind of everybody's just out for themselves. No, exactly. It's kind of, it's a really nice atmosphere. I yeah. don't feel that at all. I think it's more competitive before you join a company. You know, it's such a battle. There are so many people out there who have, you know, been training at ballet schools, and it's kind of trying to get that job, trying to get your contract in the company, which yeah. is so difficult. Uh, and then once you join, you kind of almost find your place it's not that you get complacent but you, you know you just settle work hard and see how it goes and lots of it is up to personal choice of who's directing at the time right you know it, it you know what you know what she likes what what's in the rep at the minute you know right, okay. sometimes it's you know it's down to the <laughs> look yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, time. yeah so if you're you know and, and if this this particular ballet's got but a load of moves that exactly you're really that you're good, good at, at yeah, and yeah, you get shown that what's you get your, pushed. What's your signature move, Kristen? What's your life? You're going to pull one out of the bag. <laughs> it's not a ballet move at all. Right, okay. <laughs> My favourite thing that I've ever danced is um, a ballet called Carmen by Matt Zek, which is a more contemporary one. And I played the role of uh, M, and she has this amazing kind of like humpy back roll move. That's my favourite. Right, okay. <laughs> Not so good Nothing for the rest of the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. uh, But this is all about, well, you'll see, I'm sure Johnny uh, will have said earlier, all these um, moves are the basis for everything that we do in rehearsals later on. You'll start picking up and noticing these things that you're seeing now, uh, you know, during the day. Right. So that's why we practice them and perfect them. And how much, how much holiday do you get from the company? Not much. We um, we get a five-week summer break. Oh, it's okay. totally off. And then a week in February is our mid-season. A couple of days at Christmas, that's it. Wow. <laughs> you can't ask. It's not like you can ask for time off, ask for a day off or anything. So it's, you know, you're here all the time. You're committed to the rehearsals, to shows. And it's Ooh. a bit like school, holidays. It is a bit like school, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Right, it's a big old are. commitment. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, listen, Kristen, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll see you shortly, yeah. really. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. When you
two in a row the second you don't close. One into the other. When, when you go, no, the double assembly. Yes, that's better. The second foot should be like lightning. And tuck. And even the last glissad. Yes, right. And yeah, ba, stay. Connecting the legs, Leticia. And up, up. Close the legs in the air, uh, Alex, on the double assembly, on both of them. Once and twice. And once and twice. Good, Rio. Hop, ba, don't be late. Go. And on one, two. Just simple like yesterday. Je t'ai, you can go without the arms. Je t'ai battu, je t'ai battu, je t'ai battu, je t'ai battu. Brisé, 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 je t'ai battu. One and two and three and four. Three brises and finish with je t'ai. So you start with four je t'ais, three brises to the right, finish je t'ai, and then it goes on the other side. Yeah? It shouldn't be too slow, Kate, yeah? Just je t'ai battu. Ready? And. Crossing legs, hop, jeté, and up, 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 back, hop, back, and one, back, 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 and hop. Yes, good, your feet, hop, and no one. Hop, travel, travel, yeah. To the left, travel a little bit more in the piece. Hop, back, back, hop, on the spot, on the spot, Tristan, now from the spot. Yeah, this one doesn't travel. Esatto, esatto. And finish with jeté. If you finish with jeté, then it changes legs. Jeté. And two, three, yes. On the jeté, you're a little bit late on the brush. Anticipate the brush a little sooner. Go. Yes, yes, right. Otherwise, it's like... So, fifth position, not a valse, a three, please. It's si son change, one. Pointe, two, step, pique, arabesque, hold, chasse, big, assemblé, forward, si son ouvert, coupé, assemblé. Attitude, pointe, and hold. And assemblé, si son, coupé, assemblé. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Attitude. Stay and hold. Chassé, assemblé, croisé, si son. Yeah. You jump, André. Point. Piqué arabesque. Coupé, chassé, effacé. Big assemblé, croisé. If you chassé, effacé, step, assemblé, croisé. Si son, coupé, assemblé. And it goes on the other side. All right, we try. And. Ba, ba. And one and two and three and hop. Yeah, ba, ba. and hop, ba, ba. and one and two. Hop, ba. Ba, ba. and sorry. Ba. Hop, ba, ba. Hop, ba, ba. One, stay and hold. Hop, 
папа, папа, папа. Встал и пошел. Давай. You're better off doing coupe chasse because if you go with uh, Bakuhu, you're late. And up, back, and stay. Open leg, go. Yeah, it changes that attitude a bit. And hold, back, and stay. Musicality completely. Yeah, Ben is not wrong. It just, to me, it changes the musicality of the takeoff for the assembly. Hop, back, and stay. Go, and hop, back, and back. Good, back, and hop, back, and hop, back, 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 and just a chasse and step. That's it. One, stay, and hold. Chasse and go. That's it. Yeah. Only you need to land a sombre so you can jump there now. Yes. Back, back and hold. And up. So here we are watching the rehearsals at the Royal Ballet at the, uh, the Royal Opera House here in London. We are trending on Twitter. Thank you very much, everybody uh, who's watching around the world. If you want to get involved on Twitter, then hashtag RBLive. Uh, I'm joined uh, by two big names in the ballet world. First up, uh, we've got resident choreographer here, Wayne McGregor. Hello to you, Hello. sir. Hi. Uh, and the guardian is Judith McCrell. Uh, Judith's got some questions for Wayne in a moment. But tell me, what does your role of, uh, of resident choreographer entail, Wayne? Well, I, I guess I'm very lucky. I just come and uh, make pieces here. So I guess my job is to um, make new work as much Fantastic. as I can. I kind of inspire the dancers to do new things. Yeah, and, and you, you've got to nurture new talent as well. That's part yeah. of your role, right? I think one of my passions is actually everybody choreographing. So to try and get as many of the dancers who are interested to make their own work and to kind of find their own kind of expressions of interest in the work that they make. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, and we're going to be talking at length about a, a new piece that you've, you've made with, uh, with Mark Ronson, right? Yeah, the brilliant Mark Ronson. Yeah, we've been working on this new piece together, which is nine love songs, um, okay. which opens in two weeks. So you'll see a bit of that later on. And that, that's called Carbon Life, it right? is, yeah, Carbon okay. Life. At 6.30 p.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time, if you want to watch Wayne and Mark talk about that. For now, though, here's Judith, and she's going to put some questions to Wayne. Great. Thank you. Uh, Wayne, we had loads of questions from Guardian readers and tweets worldwide. Uh, one of the main ones they're interested in is how a choreographer from your contemporary dance background first approached making work on ballet dancers. Was it a real kind of creative wrench for you to work on such different bodies? I don't think it was a creative wrench. I think what's really um, brilliant about making dance is you work with the material that's in front of you. And if those dancers are trained in classical ballet, that's what you work with. And if they're trained in Baronatium, that's what you work with. But I really like to work with the individual. So it's finding something about how that person moves that inspires me to make choreography. And you've worked now with ballet companies all around the world. Is there something that's distinctive to you about the Royal that makes it stand out from the others? Well, definitely. I mean, partly because I've made so many ballets for the Royal Ballet. You know, I've made more ballets for the Royal Ballet than I've made any other company. So I've got fantastic relationships with dancers where I've been able to kind of get right inside their bodies to know them really well. But I think beyond that, there's a kind of a, a character of the Royal Ballet, which is about infusing a lot of the material with kind of a, an emotionality, a kind of a, a layer of meaning that, that, that just kind of pours out of them when they have even quite abstract steps. Yeah, I mean, I noticed when you were doing a live fire exercise with in the Marguerite and Armand program, you thought, how can those dancers be doing the same repertory? But as you say, they it infu one infuses the other. I think definitely, and I think, you know, but each of those k kinds of work kind of informs the other. So I think, you know, it, it, uh, them doing Marguerite and Armand teaches me something about how I should work with them in live fire exercise and vice versa, both technically, emotionally, and actually also creatively. Another thing people seem to be very interested in is the relationship between all the work you do with neuroscience and other, I guess, more technical disciplines. People want to know, 
are they meant to be able to see that in the work? How, what's the relationship? No, so it's an interesting question because I think what's important about understanding a little bit more about how the mind works in relationship to building choreography or making choreography is actually it's a process model. It's actually how do you shift and change the way in which you make work. So that for me isn't so important that that's reflected on stage. They're not kind of examples that I'm showing on stage, but they're absolutely kind of inbuilt in the process of making. Right. And another thing people wanted to know was what do you feel about the way that dancers have to work now? I mean, your choreography pushes their bodies to beautiful and extraordinary extremes, but is there a danger of injury? Is it ever more important that dancers are taken care of? I think, yeah, d dancers' health and dancer injury prevention is extremely important. Mm. We do take that very seriously. But also, you know, there's this like, kind of old-fashioned idea that choreographers tell the dancers what to do and they, without any voice, will just go ahead and do it. And it's not mm. like that. It's a discursive relationship. And I think what you'll find with the dancers here, they want to go to new limits. They want to push their bodies in extraordinary ways. And unfortunately, sometimes a byproduct of that will be injury because they're doing things that are physically testing on their body. Um, but at the same time, as we say, we, we take taking injury prevention really seriously and I think the earlier you get those assessments you have cross training all those things that um, affect dancer injury you get the, these dancers who are in a kind of state of preparedness a brilliant um, uh, body and a brilliant kind of emotional state to be able to do great work this takes me very neatly to the black swan question which everyone wants to know about do you feel a that that was a fair representation of the ballet world and, and B, do you think that there was a kind of negative fallout from it? I don't think there was a negative fallout from it. I didn't particularly recognise the ballet companies that I work with in the world um, in that film. I found the film actually rather entertaining and I think for as long as dance is in kind of like popular culture and popular media mm. that that's really important that actually however you get involved in dance, I got involved in dance by starting to watch John Travolta, so however you get involved in dance in yeah. the beginning, if it inspires you, fantastic. Someone else wanted to know whether your training in Breton Hall, how important that was to you. Did, did they felt if you'd come out of a more conventional dance institution, would you have been a different kind of choreographer? I think I probably would have been. I think one of the great things about Breton um, was that actually we were really concentrating on the act of creativity and what was creativity in relationship to teaching, in relationship to making choreography and working with bodies that are not experts. So we did a lot of work with um, young people and community groups that can't really, or have not had that much experience of dance. And that really teaches you a lot about how your own form. Okay, three more questions. Okay. Uh, the first, someone wanted to know how many pints it took to get Tom York to dance so awesomely in the Lotus Flower video. Okay, well, that's a good question. I think if anybody's actually seen Tom York live in performance, yeah. he has an amazing way of moving, and all I did was work with him on developing that and structuring that in a particular way. So he's a phenomenal dancer with no pints, I'd okay. say. <laughs> uh, somebody else who self-confessed computer geek was impressed that you were playing with computers in 1977. Hmm, I think that's probably a bit early. I yeah. think I, he I, wanted I, to know the name if, of oh, what I actually remember my first computer. Yeah. The first computer I had was a, a Texas Instruments. Um, right. it was a, I think it was a T, TI-99 or something. But it was a time when the Commodore 64 was out, the Atari, the BBC mm. computer. So it's probably about the, the beginning of the 80s, probably more, more clearly. And finally, several people wanted to know who does your hair. <laughs> At the moment, my puppy, you can see from the uh, scratch on my head. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne McGregor. Thank you very much, Judith. Thank you, Wayne. Wayne will be catching up with you later on uh, at uh, 6.30. Judith, you're going to stay and, and watch the rest of the rehearsals? I'm watching some of it, for sure, yeah. All right, okay, thank you very much, hey, thank guys. You. Cheers. Thanks. Stretch back leg and back foot Tara and up balance it. go. Up, back, back. Quasi. 
us here if you do it, do it right. And one. Quasi. And hop. Hop. And do your coupe chate. And one. Pa. Yeah. Ooh. Rio. Rio, Rio, Rio. If you're beating the enfilacé, still have time to open. It's Just coupe jeté manège. Yes? Ready? Coupe jeté. Hop and go. And hop, pa, 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 hop, pa, four. And hop, arms through first. Pa, pa, pa. Yes, from good girl. And hop, pa, pa, hop and go. More than one at a time. Try to go two at a time, please. Back leg, hop, push. Rig goes left, go right, and one, pa, 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 hop, pa, 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 get the arm there, pa, pa, hop, good, hop, pa, ta, ta, pa, pa, step, step, go twist, hop, pa, hop, pa, 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 back leg, don't cut the corners, twist down, off the ground, up, Le braccia prima posizione Valentino. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but get your arms organized, Valentino, please, for this. Anybody turns or fuete? We have one minute, so that's about it. 
Ready? We could keep going, Koda. Turns in second or fourth in. And hop, ba, 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 hop, ba, 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 hop, ba, ba. Good, go, ba, ba, and hop, ba, ba. Squeeze the plie, uh, Claudia. Yeah, it's the one from the relevé. That's the one that you jerked out. Hop. Second leg, second. Hop. Yeah. Good, Lizzie. Hop. Two legs. Two legs. Hop. Ba, ba. Hop. Ba, ba. Don't wiggle your uh, shoulders when you do sissis bear. It's just in the legs. Okay. Thank you very much, Kate. Thanks. Thanks, guys.